Hey, can you make me something at 10 bucks? No, that wasn't a question. Where are you taking me, man? Slavic shop called Grandma's Deli. I need special cheese. Brinza potatoes. Flour, two bucks. We need one egg. Salt and pepper, three. We did it. No oh, way. Three green onions. So we have all of our ingredients. What are you about to make? We're making brinzovi galushki. It's Slovakian dish. What's the first step? To peel. Can you help? Faster, faster. Not bad, right? Don't forget the seasonings. Yeah. Two cups. We're gonna boil some water. Life hack. What are you gonna do with this bacon, man? Meat is so expensive nowadays, isn't it? Wow, look at that. Okay, so this is sheep smoked cheese. It's kind of like feta, right? Yes. Galushki. Nice. Ten dollars turned into brinzovi galushki. All right, let's give it a try. Holy crap! Hey chef, can you make me something with ten bucks? Danny, ten dollar gourmet in New York City? That's impossible. This is a Korean deli. Let's see if they have a kimchi. Yeah, that one is kimchi. Okay. Get all the juices out. This is all the weight and money, right? Thank you. Two dollars and fifty cents for our kimchi. Now we are getting the bread, cheese, and garlic. Ooh, 926. Yeah. 926 with our 250 kimchi. <laughs> now I'm ready to cook. With your $10 bill, I will make kimchi soup with a grilled cheese stand out. So first thing, we gotta make a kimchi soup or garlic kimchi. Adding a little bit of a kimchi juice, vegetable umami sauce. Add a little bit of water. Ooh, 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 ooh. Cover for about 20 minutes. And then we're gonna do the toast. I just minced the garlic, goes into a bowl, chive as well, butter. And you want to mix and make a compound butter. The bread, two pieces, and spread. And then I'm gonna toast it here. Ooh, nice, toasty. Yeah. Okay. The bread goes on the plancha. And then mayonnaise. Ooh. Cheese will go on the mayonnaise side. The more the better, y'all. Yeah. In the oven. Okay, so let's check on the soup. Oh my Whoa. god. You see the color change to like an orange? That means it simmered long enough. And now I'll finish with little chive. I'll check on the toast. How's our toast looking, chef? You tell me then. Hold it over. Okay. Okay. Wow, look at that Cajun style grilled cheese. Chef, we gotta give it a try. Yes, I'm so hungry. Okay, guys, you guys see it. Cajun style grilled cheese, kimchi stew. Let's dig in, chef. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Mm. This is an amazing comfort meal. Ten dollar mm. meal, chef. Ten mm. out of ten. Oh my Thank god. Thank you. Hey, chef, can you make me something with ten bucks? Absolutely, Danny. Anything for you. Ten dollar challenge. Let's see if we can do round two in Malibu. Green cabbage, green onion, yellow and russet potato, bacon ends in pieces. Two bucks. One ninety seven. We still gotta catch a fish. Let's go. Let's go. What'd you get? Peeled and deveined shrimp. What? We're making my version of an okonomiyaki, kind of like a Jewish boy meets Japan version. Start off with about a cup of flour, baking soda, eggs, salt, water. Mix this around. We're gonna shred some cabbage. I'm gonna slice a little onion. Onions. I wanna add some scallions. I'm gonna hit it with a little sichimi. We can't forget about the shrimp. Can't right? forget the shrimp. So I'm just gonna slice our shrimps. Does adding potato make it Jewish? Never done this oh, before. No. I'm gonna add a little potato. Oh, I have an idea. And then I'm gonna just do a nice little layer of this. I'm gonna start layering the bacon that we bought for $1.95. Thick cut, not bad. So now I'm gonna make the sauce, take these forage loquats and I'm gonna peel them. I found these in a tree on the side of a house. Loquat in the pot. Little honey, little bit of water to help get it going. Big pot, little loquat. Some ketchup, Worcestershire, sure, sure. Soy sauce from the market. Thank you, sushi bar. Now I'm gonna add the loquat syrup. Nice little glaze. I'm gonna flip the okonomiyaki right now. 
Oh! Hey, oh, look at that though. <laughs> now I'm gonna prepare a little toppings with my foraged flowers. People pay a lot of money for these things, but I got it for free. <laughs> Those are good. All right, we're there. <laughs> Little Yo. toasty. That's what happens when you're cooking on a camping stove. Ooh. Now right. we okay, sauce. What are you Finish with our nasturtium, nasturtium for a little extra pepper flavor Ooh. and some nasturtium flowers. There we have it. Naughty little Jewish boy okonomiyaki. Ooh. We got to give it a try, man. Bang. Ooh. Wow. 10 out of 10. Hey chef, can you make me something with 10 bucks? 10 bucks? I got you. So we're at Fine Fair Supermarket and I'm gonna see what's inside. Two packs of chicken wing, 89 cents. Instant noodles, green onions, a carrot, bok choy, soy sauce, cornstarch, chicken bouillon cubes. Today we're gonna make a very creative version of a Cantonese tau mein. First thing we're gonna do, debone our chicken. Take this and we're gonna make chicken broth out of it. Chicken bones. Chicken bouillon. All right, so our next step, marinate our chicken. Soy sauce, just give that a mix. We're gonna set that aside. We're gonna fill these guys in here. Soy sauce, chicken bouillon, crush that in there. Black pepper, brown sugar. Marinate that, set that aside. So now, we're gonna prep all our vegetables. Our carrot, our bok choy, green onions. Throw it into a little ice bath. We're gonna throw our instant noodles. All right, we're gonna Drain the nudes. All right, so we're gonna fry our noodles. So we're just gonna add a little bit of oil into the pan. We're You're putting it back to its original form. <laughs> You're not wrong, Daniel. <laughs> See that? Transfer it to this plate. All right, so we are gonna fry our Asian chicken wings. So we're gonna fill these in. Wow. Okay, so now we're gonna bring it all together. Marinated chicken, carrot, bok choy, scallion. Chicken broth that we made. Our ramen packets. Cornstarch, water, just give that a mix. Add that right in. And then once this boils and thickens, then we're ready to serve. Now it's time to plate. We got our wings here. Gorgeous. Green onion curls, ramen tau mein. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Now we have our sauce. Pour this right here. Woo hoo hoo hoo! Danny, I just turned your $10 into two gourmet meals. Cantonese tau mein with ramen noodles, and then we also have some Asian fried chicken wings. Let's do it, let's eat. Wings? One bite, let's dig in. It's like home to me. Chow mein. Oh, I give this easy 10 out of 10, man. My 10 man. bucks, 10 out of 10. My man. Hey chef, can you make me something with 10 bucks? On my day off? Oh no. $10? Let's make it happen, man. We're going to Korean Corner, man. First thing, probably get chicken. Let's see what they got here. Four, Four bucks for this? That's so much, me. Scary. Small yellow onion, one lemon, garlic, ginger, jasmine rice. Oh my gosh, 10 <laughs> bucks, bro. <laughs> Holy crap. We're back in Korean Corner with your $10 bill. I'm about to feed six to eight people with this nice congee, arroz caldo Filipino style. First step, we're going to debone the chicken. Again, take the skin out. I'm just going to set this. Run out as much fat as we can. We just gotta debone all this. Again, let's do big pieces of chicken thigh and leg. <laughs> Washed rice, a cup of jasmine rice. Set it aside and let it drain. Cut up the lemon, onions, and some of the whites. The yellow onion, garlic, ginger. Bang. Cut these into small cubes. Keep an eye on your chicken skin. Flat. The chicken meat. Take these out. Black pepper, turmeric, paprika, onion powder, a little bit of salt. And add our onions and garlic mixture together. Add all the ginger. We're gonna add the rice. So we added about a cup of rice, and we're gonna add about three times as much stock as we have in the rice. Chicken stock in the pantry. You gotta bring that to a simmer, add all the chicken, bones, and meat. The rice is already soaking up all that liquid. Wow. And all that flavor. All that flavor. You gotta drain this out. Season with a little bit of salt. Chicken skin ready. Right now we're gonna make some crispy garlic chips. We're just gonna use a mandolin. There we go. Keep moving the oil to evenly fry it. I'll strain this out into the strainer. Season with a little bit of salt, all the garnish ready. Now we're just gonna take out the bones. Last thing to do is just plating it. 
crack some of this chicken skin, garlic chips, soft boiled egg, green onions, and a lemon wedge. All right, Danny, we just turned your 10 bucks into a chicken arroz caldo Filipino style. And you made like four of these. We could have made like eight or 10 of them, right? Probably enough for eight to 10, yep. Well, let's give it a try, chef. Definitely. Squeeze a little bit of lemon. Oh my gosh. All right, let's dig into this. One bite. Mm. That's some fire Filipino comfort food, chef. Man, if I have to rate this dish, you know what it is, man. 10 out of 10. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. <laughs> hey, chef, can you make me something with 10 bucks? $10. So this is the tried and true Safeway. Let's see what they got. The key to $10 challenges, international section. Coconut milk, onion dip mix. You get a little bit of bread. 99 cents. White corn. Scallions, onion, garlic. I know they got them dollar burritos in here. Well, here we go. Burritos, I know, are only 99 cents. Wow. First things first, look at that. These are frozen, so I'm gonna have to unfreeze. While I wait for that, break down the corn. So I'm just gonna cut, cut some scallions. Garlic clove, some of our scallions, a little bit of oil, okay. onion dip mix, These like little crushed onions. So now what I'm gonna do, start with our onion. Onions in the pot, a little bit of oil. I'm just gonna sweat, feel the remaining garlic I have. I got my burritos. I'm gonna now add my beef seasoning, coconut milk, onion seasoning packet. I got a little bit of the corn. Add this, we're gonna take it off the heat. And now I'm gonna smoke my corn ribs. Corn ribs. Lock in the smoke. Now I'm gonna do some garlic bread. Pack of onion seasoning. Let's go check on our corn. I got some roasted scallions. Use them as garnish on my toast bites. Mm. Ooh. I'm gonna smoke corn ribs. Pop these in my sauce. Yeah. Okay. Bread. 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 Take my garlic clove, that essential garlic oil. Wow. Let's plate our corn ribs. Just like that. We made a little uh, smoked corn ribs with a spicy beef coconut broth and an onion. Crustini. Time to eat it. Go for it, man. So you gotta grab it just like a rib. Dip a little sauce action. Crustini. A little of that broth action. Mm. You always kill it, man. Thank you. Yeah, man.